Okay, so let's look on a snow with a natural filter. So right here is kind of interesting because this is a little bit different. This filter is will modify terrain. Most time if you look snow, they did not modify, they apply the texture overlay. This is will does modify, will apply it, it's create a very realistic look. It is actually one of the best snow simulation I saw. So right here we can look first, we have it intensity that is control amount of the snow deposit the, during the period of the time. We have an evaporation balance, which is um, control how fast snow will evaporate from the terrain relatively to snow intensity. So it's meaning if value is one, the snow will evaporate same rate as deposit. So if we're going less, it will be evaporate faster or evaporate slowly. So right here, let's say slower. So you can see right here we have more snow accumulations. Let's go right here. Just, just slightly. So we have it more control over the time. The snow amount, its duration, this of the snow simulation. So the greater values will deposit more snow and allow the drift to travel further. Um, but using this will increase render time. So kind of beware of this. This is creating interesting effect, but a little bit more. Snow line, it is specific, uh, specify the evaluation below which um, evaporation greatly increased. So for example, on the high mountains, the snow will accumulate on top and less vaporize or kind of go to the water. So that we can increase snow line, go up, and you'll notice how the snow start degrading right here around this. Okay, next we have a linear depth mask. Um, if we check this, the depth mask output on the snow device will contain exact depth of the snow at all locations, not just one. And um, by default is unchecked and it is scale uh, logarithmic by cutoff mask. So it's go down it's will decreasing and you can see both which one is work better for you by default it's actually I found out it's work better for me the also that must cut off um, is scaling factor that used to constrain a snow mask so we can when we're creating output and we'll look in a second we can control on this mask how it's affected tapper snowfall uh, when it's checked, the snowfall intensity is reduced towards the end of the snow simulation. So when it's a check, the new snow is produced even very last step of the simulation. So it's kind of add effect to this point. Okay, so right here. The next, right here you can see snow depth mask. Again, we'll go to output. We'll select bitmap output. And you notice we cannot connect because it's provided a high field map we need convert. So for this one, we'll go to convert, select colorizer. And so I just want to preview. So right here, you can see where snow deposit map. Can this is our preview. And right here where we have the most snow, it's nice because it's take an evaluation there, how steep, shallow and where evaporation happen. And you can see evaporation happen very nicely. I find its work snow map work very well in combination with uh, erosion before. So if we go set this way, okay. Oops, actually, let me open, and we'll just add quite a bit channel. So just create a little bit more dramatic effect. And in this point, if we connect. So right here snow you can see how it's snow now lay down very well in those channels and collecting deeper and some areas and with evaporation coming it dissipating so it's very nice map creating very accurate for the snow and again because the world machine does not have it it's on the render whatever information snow uh, world machine can provide for the other applications so well other applications can perform so and right here as example the snow which i will use in the view application it's a very nice map and i can take materials and apply directly in those areas so it will work very well as well 
remember because we using same erosion we can take flow map and we can compare so right here is our flow map with the water going down so we can work this way and right here is a snow you can see accumulation in those areas so right here there are snow um, effect let's um, next we'll go look on the coastal erosion 